All right, so this is about how to use the property hierarchy, uh, which is a replacement for the property editor. Now, uh, I have loaded an MCM in, and I wanted to make it obvious what was going on, so it's actually kind of a weird one. It basically just causes her to frown on top of the eye closing. So whenever the eye closes and girl is the morph that's being driven, um, then it should apply this MCM. So the way that we would go about doing this is we actually want to go to, um, let's go to this property. So we right click and go to edit mode. This is in parameters tab. And on this property, we'll go and show in property hierarchy. And here's the property. And right now it has no, we're not going to do subcomponents. It doesn't have any controllers. So what we want to do is go and find the property that it needs to fix that the MCM is for. So let's go ahead to, I'm going to go to currently used and it's the eye closed left. I'm just going to drag this in as a controller. And so whenever that one dials up it's going to apply it and then for multiply I'm going to drag the girl six head onto multiply. And now if any of these parts are gone then you'll see it'll dial off my MCM here. So that's how you hook it up and then you just save out your morph, your morphs that you work on. Uh, right now these these connections, these e connections are, uh, you can see that they are saving with my morph. So as long as I save my MCM G6 I closed LJD morph, then it's going to write the formulas for it in that morph and so it'll all be intact.